guys what's going on and welcome to my another video ICS update on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 Wi-Fi is already out now most of you know that I've got the 3G version but not, not, that's not a problem because I've got the source as you can see I have already updated it to ice cream sandwich so let's go ahead and look at the update alright so first thing you will notice is the wallpaper now the wallpaper has been changed all the wallpapers have been changed now now they've actually put the um, wallpapers from the Samsung Galaxy S3 or the new TouchWiz so as you can see you still have the same slide you still have it so let's go ahead and look at the home screen so that is the home screen it is completely redesigned as you can see down the bottom you now have a black um, color it's now black instead of gray or light black now you also do have a different uh, font as well as icons as you can see there is the font there's the Wi-Fi there's the uh, network as well as the battery if you look at the icons over there you also do get a different one such as the um, Reader's Hub, S Planner, Camera as well as the browser. You still have the same shortcut icons or apps down the bottom. You do now have a pen memo so that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at the pen memo. So there you have it. Just like on the Galaxy Note. Pretty accurate. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool what else have we got you got the alarm calculator email messaging music player as well as as I said the pen memo as well as the S planner now as you can see if we swipe much much responsive more responsive however it is still not as smooth as it's supposed to be the, even though it's in dual core <clears throat> it shouldn't be a, a problem now I believe this is this has got to do with all the <clears throat> software pretty much because not really all of them are necessary to have in a tablet now let's have a look at the apps so as you can see there you have the ice cream sandwich loop just like on the Samsung Galaxy S3 you do get that effect when you swipe at the end of the page so if you scroll when you scroll on this it's actually pretty smooth As you can see nice transition in fact let me put it closely you don't get any lag whereas with the <coughs> With the on the home screen you do get it you do get some lags all right as you can see you also do get the screenshot in there you still have it How about the home button the task or the multi uh, task bar uh, button you still have it in there oh sorry it, but it's been changed there is the task manager you do get a different um, design now or interface there's your downloaded RAM manager let's clear up some apps you have it with storage help they have it let's have a look at the widgets swiping is pretty good although hopefully um, once the jelly bean has been it's all finished and ready to, and available for an update now well hopefully in this hopefully that should fix the problem As you can see <clears throat> there's your music hub which is I believe it's new on the tablet new addition to that let's have a look at the browser all right yeah, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. Let's try 
Mm, what's a good website? Stry or Stroid? So that's pretty good. So nice and smooth. Although it can be improved. Let's see if we can go to the desktop page. So is it finished? <coughs> So it's still loading. Okay, almost finished. Alright, and that's done. Pinch to zoom is not too bad. Definitely much responsive than the last than the very last touch with. Alright, so that's done. Let's go back. Let's go to the settings. As you can see it's been redesigned as well. Now get a white background. <clears throat> Let's go about device. This is a 4.0.4 .4, as you can see. There you go. Let's go more. Display. Home screen. Let's have a look at the live wallpapers. So pretty much still the same. Now one thing I like about this is the power saving mode. Now I believe that's new as well. And it, which actually works pretty well on this one. It does its job. It's, it definitely saves more battery. Because I believe when um, before I left home I had 73% battery. And that's that's been it's been like almost what like nine hours something like that and now it's down to 56 so you also do get different set um, dedicated buttons so that's pretty nice addition you also do get a different look on the on that um, notification bar so that's nice alright over the top you still do get the Google Google search, which is pretty, um, which is okay. I want to have a Google now, though. All right, let's have a look at the task manager. When or the recent apps? There you go. Still the same as the other one. If you want to delete it, just swipe it left or right. Still the same. Now, this one of the most um, Annoying problem on the very last touch with, which is the screen rotation. Now let's see. I haven't actually tried rotating it, but we're gonna do it here all together. <clears throat> all right. So, as you can see, much faster. Definitely, you can tell the difference. See, it's much, much, although you still have that sort of delay on the widgets, which hopefully they'll be release a new update on this. As I said in the beginning, this is the official and this is the stock ROM. Now, when you root, uh, when you actually install this, it will bring back your Galaxy Tab to its original, meaning it won't be, um, you're going to have to root it again. For you to be able to install um, new software or ROM. So there you have it guys. That is a preview of the ice cream sandwich update on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.